boys and girls of all ages, we are back. Thanks for joining us again on this lovely day. Let's see what we got. We have something going somewhere, and we're going to take it, okay? I thought we're going to go to Odessa, which is not far up the road, but it will knock off that other city. We're kind of in a bad spot here to get anything going up in this area. Because they don't have anything on the cargo board, you kind of have to go back to one of these cities. Uh, we have one going, we have something going to Las Cruces, which would pick up Van Horn, El Paso, and then end up in Las Cruces. That's New Mexico. And I really don't want to teleport anywhere. I'm trying to drive this and be, you know, straight up about it. Even though we did teleport one time during this session of trying to knock off Texas. Uh, do we want to go to Odessa? Let's see what else they have. I don't think they have anything else going northwest. They have an El Paso. Well, we have an El Paso, which is coming from Las Cruces. So that's not it. Let's get in the right city here. Okay. We have an Odessa. That's it. Okay. We go to the freight market. What do we have in the freight market? Again, we have to click on Fort Stockton. We have one going to El Paso from here, but it's not really going to El Paso. It's going near El Paso. So we're still only going to pick up Van Horn, Odessa, which we can do right now, and we'd actually pick up Odessa, where this kind of goes a little bit to the south. I don't know if we'd pick up that city or not, or discover, as they say. So I think we're just going to go to Odessa. I think that's where we want to go. We just want to take this quick trip from right across the street. We're right across from the Walmart. We will pick it up, and we will go to Odessa. Another short trip. I said, I haven't really been into the long trips. I'm thinking <clears throat> maybe get all the bugs out and get my uh, get my mood right. We might do a long video that will be shortened or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll do like a super long trip like from point A to point B, like maybe from Washington State down to Texas or Texas to Washington State or California or somewhere a little bit longer. <clears throat> Put up a little bit longer of a video. Not sure how we're going to do that yet. I'm still getting over the the issues from last week of where uh, I had so many issues with the game. And it may not have been the game. It might have been me. I don't know. I don't know what the problem was, but I did find the solution without ever knowing what the problem was. So we're going to try this. On my last, on the, well, not the last video, the video I put up a while ago, I watched it today because it posted today. And towards the end of that video, <clears throat> I think the second part of that video which was Longview to Tyler, I believe it was. It, it flickered real bad. I don't know what caused that. So um, I don't know if I should take that down and redo it. I'm thinking along the lines of taking it down, cutting that off, and um, just leaving that off because that is uh, a little bit dangerous if you're subject to seizures because that is a dangerous thing to do. But let's go across the street here and get this load. We are at about 6 a.m. on a... at 6.09 a.m. on a Sunday morning. So we're going to go, like I said, we're going to go across the street here. Not very far at all. And we're going to pick up this load going to Odessa. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, this video will not be put up on a Sunday. I don't put up videos generally on the weekends. I I thought at one time what I wanted to do was put the videos up on the day of the week in the video. That makes sense. Like if it says like it's Sunday, this video would go up on a Sunday. Turn right. Not necessarily this Sunday, but it would be done on a Sunday. And I thought that would be kind of cool because then you kind of keep with the game. It makes it feel like, you know, people watching it and say, wow, you know, this is this is happening today or yesterday or whatever. Um, that would become a real pain in the other side of my lap because we really, it, it's hard enough putting the videos up. Um, but yeah, we could, um, we could do that. We could try something like that. Go straight. Oh, go straight. Down a little bit further. I thought it was this one. Sorry, folks. Didn't mean to do that. Stay left. And then turn left. And then turn left. Turn left. Now, 
Now we're going to see if we can find these. You remember, uh, if they show up at all, they're going to be little spots on the ground. They're not going to be the flashy things that I've seen on other people's videos because, you know, I'm not cool like them. So. Here we are. Save here we are. Okay, now that we're here, this is on the cargo board. So we have to find that little sweet spot if we can. Remember, sometimes we have to pull up and back up and do it two or three times, but we'll find it. Sometimes we have to back up and do it again. Or we have to exit out and go to the board, which will then sign. I don't, you know, I think in the cargo market, it's not doing that. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, see how we had to do that? I'm not overly excited about that. I'm not. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go to Odessa. We're going to take the job and see if they'll tell us where we have to pick it up. Oh, we can go to the loading area. Okay, they're going to load us right here. here we go. That works for me. That works for me rather than have to chase the thing around. Okay, now we're at the back of the building. Let's see where we have to go. We have to go out the front. So basically, we have to make a U-turn. We have to make a U-turn to get out of here, right? Yeah, we have to make a U-turn. Well, no. How do we get out? Okay. Oh, we go up this way and then back to the left. Okay, maybe that's it. Maybe. I don't know. take us around the front of the store here not sure that's the way we were supposed to go but you know what that's the way we went anybody need anything Walmart before we leave We want some plants or maybe a kayak over there. We'll grab one in case it rains. Might need one if it rains, all right? Hang on one second here. The computers in my office and the monitors and things make this office very very warm so i to turn on a little usb fan i got over here kind of cool me down a little bit man it gets warm in here with these monitors and computers on turn left turn left Again, I don't know how long this video is going to be. Probably 30 to 40 minutes, I'm guessing. Kind of guess that because the they tend to come out the same for the miles you drive, I guess. Um, almost like real life, right? Okay, I'm going to go. Like we've got a viewpoint up here or something up here on the right. I would love to find these viewpoints, but I just I can't seem to find them. If it's something we can pull into, we might do Go that. <clears throat> Excuse me. We might pull into it and see if we can find it. Uh, that'd be kind of cool to hit the viewpoints. I did have an app, but I don't say a mod. I call them apps, but I did have a mod on here of a Freightliner RV at one time. I don't know where it went. I don't know. Um, and I <clears throat> don't know if I want it again. I, I kind of like the truck driving thing. Not really wanting to get into the RV thing. <clears throat> Didn't make a little frog in my throat. Ribbit. Um, but, yeah, I just kind of want to drive the truck, pick up loads, deliver them, because that's what truck drivers do.
But they also have the RV thing. That would be kind of cool. Let the drivers make the money for me while I'm out riding in the RV. Then I don't have the aggravation of having to find the freight, right? Find out where to load, where to unload. That would have solved that problem, right? Wouldn't have been as much fun, though. I don't think. Although I don't know. You know, I think the driving is the fun part. Certainly isn't fun to be aggravated trying to get a load or whatever, but that's part of the trucking game. If I want to be in an RV game, then maybe they should have one of those. But anyway, yeah. That's where we're at. We're heading to Odessa, Texas. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get a load out of Texas. You know, one of the things about the game is you cannot, you cannot uh, view the load board for any city that you have not discovered. <clears throat> so, so um, you know, if we haven't discovered Odessa because we haven't been there yet. And therefore, we can't view the load board there unless we have a garage. If we have a garage there, we can click on it, I think. But we have to discover it. Sometimes when we buy a garage, we discover it. And sometimes we don't. So... And now, according to this, there's something in here. I don't know what it is. I don't know what that was that we just passed. It didn't say viewpoint or anything on it, so I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what that was. I don't know. That little gray thing there, it looks like a viewpoint, but it could also be... I don't know. <clears throat> don't know what it is. Don't know. Actually getting on the interstate the right way this time, not from the left, where we go off across a two lane under the left. <clears throat> now we all we always do exit this way, but we don't always exit on a two lane road going across it, taking on the entrance. I guess that was the point I should have made before. Stay right, and then exit right. Oh, stay right. Well, exit right. We can't. They got us blocked. Alrighty, thank you. Now I have, in the past, okay. I have right. taken a situation like that and go over in the grass and go around them. Uh, that's not the professional way to do it. But I have done it. And I did long video. I didn't, no shame in my game. I did it anyway. Well, it's 80 miles an hour. Why are we going 40 here? See, the two, yellow, the two purple lines here. What's going to happen is we're going to have to go all the way up and then all the way back, however far that is. I don't know how far it is. Got to go to the exit, get off the exit, and come back on the other side to get back to that exit because that truck blocked the off-ramp. So we have to go to the next one, turn around, and come back. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes you can go across another road and catch up. But in this case, it looks like they're going to send us back around. Uh, we're going to have to come back down the other side and get back down there Stay and get off the right exit. Then exit right. So, good luck, folks. We're going to be a little bit late today. A little bit later. I don't know we're going to be late. Exit right. Um... Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Yeah, 
have to go slow around it because sometimes there's a car or something sitting there and you <clears throat> and then there's one behind you and you can't get backed up and yeah it can uh it can wreak havoc on you it can make the game so much more interesting let's let this car out Put that car out there because we're not be able to get around it if we don't. Okay, there you go. We do have a full tank of fuel, I know that. And I know that because we filled up at the garage while we were taking our 30 or uh, 10 hour break. Kind of, I did a little development thing on this too. I have the, de the dev app or the development app or mod, as you or whatever. I think it's the uh, council actually, what they call it. Um, what I did was I kind of changed the time a little bit. Because we were at about 7.40ish in the morning, and there were no loads going anywhere decent. So I switched it back to 6 a.m., and we saw the load going to Odessa. So, and I, you can do that in the, in the development console. You cannot do that in the regular game. You have to have the development console. So... Whoa, 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 whew. almost, almost. Almost got him. I wasn't paying attention, I was trying to get my turn signal here. And yeah. You might notice a slight change in my voice in this game as opposed to other games I've played on here. Because I'm using a good microphone with a um, their app that goes with it, and that is an app, not a mod. Um, I mean, what it does is it takes the squeakiness or the roughness or basically it balances out my voice <clears throat> so I don't have the rough sound. Uh, I do have something going out with my throat. Uh, been having trouble breathing sometimes and some other health issues but um yeah so hopefully this will this will this will work
go straight. I've never seen traffic lights on a 70 mile an hour road before. That's uh, different. Odessa is discovered. Go straight. We now have six or five you know, two three four we got five more cities to discover in texas we're getting there we are getting there I started the game early and I saw this thing down the corner said 1.47 beta. And I was like, uh oh. I didn't want to be under 1.47 beta. So I exited out of the game, went back, and then it said 1.46. So apparently that was just something saying that it's coming soon. I just caught out of the corner of my eye and I was like, oh no, we don't want to do a beta. We don't want to do that. I did beta before 1.3 something and I really didn't care for it. Didn't really care for the beta version. Um, you know, the, I guess the good thing about that is that the people that are playing the beta, they can put out videos of what's coming soon, and I can't because I don't know. I don't play it. So I may play betas in the future, but I just, I really didn't enjoy it, and I didn't think about it from the YouTube point of view. I thought about it from the game point of view that I don't want to be the first to find out that things aren't working or whatever. Because the, the developer thing does allow you to hit a certain key and then you can tell them where there's errors in the game but you never hear from anybody so you really don't know if they've ever fixed them or if it was something you said that got it fixed or anything so yeah and you never know because you don't go back there usually again. Not usually, sometimes you will, but not often. You don't usually travel the same roads in this game. Go straight. Now we're back and I looked at the videos that I did. And it's been three years since, uh, well, long enough since I bought the game. <clears throat> I bought the game when it was new in 2016. I didn't actually start playing it and putting YouTube videos up until, I believe it was 2020 or 2021. Um, but I didn't really play the game that much <clears throat> at, at the beginning. I bought it because, you know, I thought it was cool.
Guess we're supposed to yield to them. I, oh well. Get ready to turn left. Get ready to turn not into the garage. That's our garage there to the no, that is a garage there to the left, but it's not our garage. Huh. Turn left. Okay. That is our garage next door. I didn't know we had a garage in Odessa. Wow. Didn't know that. I bought them all. I didn't I don't remember which ones they were. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. We are finished. Nope. Well, I think we can do that. Let's try that. Maybe not over far enough. Nope. There it is. Found it. Well, alrighty then. We're close enough to the walls. At least we can do that now. Remember before, we couldn't do it. So, okay, there's another one in the books. Like I said, 30 to 40 minutes, and you kind of get used to that. The detour might have put us a little bit over. But um, anyway... There's another one. We have discovered Odessa. Let's go see what they have coming out of Odessa. See if they have anything coming out of here. We do have a garage next door. I didn't realize that. There you go. Going to Artesia. No. Well, let's see what Artesia would do. Nothing. Wouldn't do anything for Texas. I mean, it would do something. It wouldn't do anything for Texas. Um. Yeah, I don't see anything going where we need to go on that board. Let's try this board. Now, this board, it means we'd have to drop our trailer if we took one, a load on here. Here's one going to El Paso. Now, we could do that. <clears throat> we could do this and drop our trailer at the garage here, which actually I think it would send it back to Del Rio because that's the base for that trailer. We could go from here and pick up both of these, Van Horn and El Paso, we would not be able to pick up El Paso directly. We'd have to drop the trailer and then drive over to El Paso. And that is a five hour and five minute trip, which put us there about 630 because you got a lot of time. Well, not really. I was going to say 630 because you have a lot of time for loading 
the trailer and unloading, but that's not true because, because, um, we just drop the trailer. We don't do all that. We could go to Amarillo, which is five hours and 12 minutes. That would pick up two cities, but then we'd have Dalhart. That's kind of an out of the way place. That's going to be a diff difficult one to get, but we'll see what we pick up. Come back and join me on the next video. I appreciate everybody watching, following along, uh, riding with me, and putting up with me. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot to get the uh, subscription numbers up. And um, give it a thumbs up. That helps with the algorithms. And if you don't like the video, hit the thumbs up, the thumbs down twice. You'll figure that out when you do it. Um, but anyhow, uh, I appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next one. See you when we see you.